Good afternoon, welcome everybody. It's Anna here and I am here today with a flip through of these four sister journals. We have Louisa, Edwina, Nora and Bernadette. And let's start with Bernadette. I have been making these in the same style and they're quite similar. <coughs> uh, they all have, have five signatures. They all are bound in with a hidden hole back spine. They have the same type of closure and they have the same amount of pages, 168 pages. Uh, yeah, so let's start by measuring her. As I said, this is Bernadette. She is four and a half by six and a quarter. And her spine is three quarters of an inch. These are quite naked journals. Uh, there's a few things, elements in them uh, that all is made out of genuine ephemera, vintage or antique stuff, mostly vintage. Uh, yeah, so this book was uh, originally published in 1838 and it was a novel by Sir Walter Scott in German. And it was a bit broken around the spine, so I have repaired it from the inside and out. And the outside is covered in hand crochet lace. And on the front there is a genuine vintage cabinet card. Uh, that is backed with some, this is some book guts from another book. There's a piece of an envelope and other things under there. And a small label down here and on the back there are two labels uh, Tim Holtz labels and those are the most new, new thing except for the glue in the entire book so let's start the flip through let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so that you can see the book yes as I said um, five signatures 168 pages Maybe it was 160. 160 pages, I'm sorry. The end papers are uh, actually papers from the original text block, both front and back. And this is the original first page. It says here uh, 1838. We have I have reinforced the old papers with uh, washi tape and glue so that they will last longer. We have tea dyed paper. Here is a piece of genuine vintage ephemera. It is a bill, I think, from 1948. A calendar. Vintage. Uh, some ledger. This is from book. It's not genuine. It's, it's uh, printed. More tea dyed paper. More genuine ephemera. This is a German. Um, it could be a telegram. No, not a telegram. Some kind of letter. My German is a bit rusty. <laughs> We have the backs of those papers. I will flip through these quite quickly. Here I have uh, put a glassine pocket and that I made out of um, from another book. You know in many books there are a glassine paper in the front and covers an image. This is one of the vintage general ones. It has a small stamp, a tab up there, another stamp down there. Inside the pocket there is a genuine vintage photo that I got and a old uh, card 
that was sent in 1897. So that is really old, that's antique. And I will put that in there. Here is a vintage envelope that I have opened up and made it into journaling space. And there is some four cellophane tape I made to look old. More pages from the original text block. Tea dyed paper. And this is from an old stamp book. Book about stamps. Some vintage grid paper. <coughs> and this is from a calendar. And I believe that was from 1949. More tea dyed paper. No, yeah, tea dyed uh, stationery. This is a shorthand practice book that I own and took some pages out of. The back of those pages. As you can see, these are mostly naked. It's a few, few things that I put, put in just for interest. The back of the envelope. And this was has been um, lined with some uh, hot pink um, tissue paper at one time, but someone tore that out. More pages from the original text block, tea dyed paper. This is from a vintage book about geology. Here's the down, uh, the bottom part of a um, bill. Here I have clipped in a little photo of a father and daughter. That comes from a photo album that I bought. And this is an old um, school book. For essays so some this is someone's genuine handwriting more tea dyed paper uh, vintage lined paper this is comes from a refill uh, refillable um, one of the ring bound journals here is a piece of real vintage ledger from 1918 with beautiful handwriting in it Here we have the back of those pages, back of that bill, it's, I believe it's Danish. And here is a small tab made out of Russian cards. More tea dyed, original text block, tea dyed lined paper. This is from uh, a vintage German-Swedish dictionary. Here's another letter from 1954 that is opened up to give more space for journaling. This is from a German book that is a guidebook from Venice from 1912. It has some vintage sheet music. And this is part of a catalogue from a... Um, an antique bookstore <laughs> and this is their uh, catalog that they have copied so one of those really old photocopies not photocopies but you want you, want, you stenciled with the machine look at that envelope this is an old postal order Well, many pages from the original text block there. So beautiful paper and beautiful text. And I love the foxing on the pages as well. I believe this is the old fly leaves from this book. This is a book from 1835 about um, different illnesses. It's a doctor's book. It's new tea dyed paper. This is from 1923. Uh, birthday book you're writing whose birthday it is this is another vintage envelope and it has this is a pocket I have made a little notch up here and I have hinged it to another page 
but you'll see soon. More tea dye paper, more ledger from 1912. No, 1918. This one. Really beautiful handwriting. Yeah, this is what I hinged it to. This is an old poem that someone had written by hand. Really pretty handwriting. On the back of the papers. Here I have clipped in a uh, an old library card and some vintage genuine tickets. This is the rest of the flyleaf and this says Ende, which means the end in German. That was Bernadette. She is the eldest sister. And the closure is sari silk. And this book has much room to grow. You can wrap, unwrap it and as you can see it's got a good pinch. That was Bernadette. Now we are going to take Nora. So this is Nora. She has a little bit um, also sour silk. The same type of closure. Her back, her spine was in pristine condition so I just put the closure in. She also has some labels on the back and the front is another general vintage uh, cabinet card and it's backed with uh, two different envelopes that is scrunched up. Let's measure her. I believe they are quite the same. She is six and a half by four and three quarters. And she has a bit narrower spine. It is only half an inch. Once again, five signatures, 160 pages. Hidden hollow back spine, like that. Also, sorry, still closure. In this book, um, the end papers are made out of the original fly leaves of the book. And this book was originally published in 1892. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking. <laughs> so, Let's get on. They're pretty much the same, all the four books. Uh, a little bit different because all the ephemera is genuine for each book. So, uh, yeah. We have more tea dyed paper. Something is sticking to something. Yeah. Um, and we have a small um, from 1902 calendar. Once again, a tab with the Russian cards. Here we have some craft paper. This is also an envelope that has been opened up like this for extra journaling space. Love that blue color and the blue handwriting. But bold handwriting, I must say. Um, let me just... Yeah, this is one more page out of the um, school book that is with essays. And also the same line writing paper. Once again, the ledger. This one is from 1919. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same papers. The back of the envelope gives you lots of journaling space. Sorry. On the back of the calendar, tea dye paper. Here is another one of those pockets with lacine paper from another book. A stamp here, a stamp as a tab. And we have, once again, a vintage photo of a small girl. And this comes out of an album. And here is another 
letter as well. But this is a yeah, money order on it. So that tucks in there. More Jedi paper. This is pages from the original text block. And this book was published in uh, 1892. I don't remember if I said that, but 1892. Uh, some old office supplies. This is the original first page of the book. Ledger paper. Paper from the um, book, German book about stamps. And about collecting stamps. More of the shorthand practice book and the vintage music in the center of that signature and also in this book I have 45 this by 45 I have um, strengthened the folds with washi tape and glue here is an envelope that has been made into a pocket More pages from the original text block. She died paper. Here's a small envelope that is opened up for extra journaling space. And this is also from the um, ledger, but just the first blank page. Uh, this is the uh, German Swedish Dictionary, 1901, I believe it was published. The grid paper. This looks like someone's handwriting, but it's taken out of a book. Here's a piece of vintage ephemera. This was from, or this is not vintage, it's 1986, so it's not vintage. But it's just old. Sorry, gotta get a sip of water. Yeah, back all those pages. And the envelope here on this uh, page from the original text block I once again clipped in some tickets and a genuine library card and here is a photograph on this side of I believe it's the same little girl and she is on a mountain or a beach or something, it's hard to see. Some tea dyed paper, pages from the original text block, a small calendar from 1958. This is a piece of German ephemera, someone's shopping list or so. Another page from the German um, guidebook to Berlin, uh, to Venice, sorry. And more of the uh, catalog from the antiques bookshop or used bookshop and more ledger and this is a page from Bernadette actually <laughs> ledger and the same papers back of them or tea dyed paper and page from the original text block and this is another money order this has been paid in 1953 here's another envelope that has been opened up for journaling and here the tissue paper is left and it has little crowns on it and I thought that was quite cute some tea dyed paper this is an old something from 1951 it's a receipt, I believe. This is from 1949 calendar. More of the shorthand and the craft paper. And here is another folio from the ledger. This is from 1919. Lovely, lovely handwriting. I'm really in love with it. And the back of the envelope 
and we have reached the back. So that was Nora. I'm going to try to speed this up. We have two left. Let's go to Edwina and her husband Carl. This is made out of a book that was published in 1927, so it's a bit newer and still has sour silk as a binding. It's a closure. And more labels on the back. Their cabinet card is also vintage and genuine and it is backed on music and another envelope. Hmm. Let's start. The end papers, sorry, are the same as the fly leaves. So the fly leaves were the same as the end papers, so I put them in and I thought it would be cool to bring them back. Here we have another one of those glassine pockets with the stamps on. And inside this one we have the same little girl and she is so cute with a little coat and furry hat. I love that, so cute. And this is a postcard that someone has forgotten to pay their bill in 1944. And here it says it was published in 1927. So we have tea dyed paper. I'm, I'm not going to repeat everything I said in the, in the other books. The dictionary. Uh, we have shorthand, we have an envelope, some catalog and music paper and in the center there we have our ledger. And the back of those pages. And here is the money order. We have tea dye paper. This is a page from the original text block. We have grid paper. And this is from a, a magazine from 19... Ooh, I think I wrote it down. Here is from the book about uh, stamps. This is a letter that has been opened up, but the letter was left inside. And it was sent in 1968, so I decided to clip it back in. This is still opened up for journaling, but I wanted to clip it in. So that goes along with this book. We have more craft paper, more of the essay in the center there. Just check the vinyl frame. Back of the envelope. Let's say that it's old. I believe it's the early 1900s. More pages from the original text block. Here's a small pocket. This is also glassine uh, that I have dyed with alcohol inks to make it look even older. And here is a small playing card and I have just sold on the back and put in a calendar from 1927 because that is when this book was published. I have not done this in Nora or Bernadette because they were published much earlier, uh, before the 1900, and that is when my Chronicle book starts. So I don't have calendars before that. This is a page from the book about uh, illness, the doctor's book from 1835. This is the bottom part of a receipt. In the center there is a, I believe it's a center, no, this is a piece of a calendar, <laughs> uh, extra page there. Here is another German receipt, a uh, German letter, and in the center we have the ledger, this one is from 1919, this letter is from 1940, And this is also, this is from 1980, so it's not that old. Back of the pages. T 
tea dyed paper. Here is another um, genuine library card. And here is a photo and the tickets on this side. There's a man standing there looking posh. Breakfast stationery. This is from Bernadette. Some ledger. Piece from a 1949 calendar. Grid paper. And in the center here is a receipt from 1951. Love the foxing from Bernadette's pages there. The reason I call them sister journals, this is also a letter from 1966. The reason I call them sister journals is that they are so much alike. I made them in the same way. Another piece of the German. Uh, this is not a shopping list. This is, I believe they have been writing up prices. A tea dyed receipt. Some bird book in the center there. Vintage. Forties. Back of the envelope. This is from the German. No. I thought that was from the German um, guidebook from Venice. Yeah, that was it for Edwina and Carl. And last but not least, we have Louisa. Catherine frame. She has the same type of closure. Once again, sorry, silk ribbon. Let me see if I can get, get it untied here. Goes through the spine. The labels on the back. We have a genuine vintage cabinet card. She is backed with the lining from an envelope that is made out of tissue paper and also the um, piece of an envelope and she is did we measure Carl and Elvina let's do that before we go any further the, she is six and three quarters by four and three quarters with half an inch spine just in case we didn't do it and Louisa is also six and three quarters and four and three quarters so they are the same size and half an inch spine they are exactly the same five signatures 160 pages and pretty much the same the same end papers once again made out of the fly leaves of the book this glassine envelope uh, pocket has been made out of a big glassine envelope and there is a stamp on there that says fa uh, five euros, five euros. up here is a little stamp that i made into a lit tab and we have some four glassine no it's called four cellophane tape that i made Inside is another one of those money orders, and this one isn't is unused. There's also a small photo of the same little girl, cute, and another playing card. This is uh, the castle in Stockholm where the king lives. And once again, I have gessoed, and there is 1925 calendar, because this book was published in 1925. Yes, let me see that I am in frame. I have tea dyed paper. This is the shorthand. We have a calendar from 1902, maybe. Yeah, I believe so. 
were even older. Craft paper, page from the book about different diseases, the doctor's book. Red paper, here in the center is a page from a old poetry album. You know, the kinds you passed along with your classmates. At least I did when I was young. And this poem is from 1946. Back of those pages. Just a little flip of the tea paper. This is from the original text block. More tea dyed. This is also from the original text block. There were all sorts of images in this book. Quite fun. This is a vintage uh, receipt and it had a little bit of tear in it, so I mended that with my four cellophane tape. Uh, this is from a, the German Swedish Dictionary, 1901. Someone ledger, a very old envelope that I opened up for more journaling space. This is from a 1949 calendar. Here is in the center is a German receipt from 1940. I think this is a great way to use up old envelopes if you got them. 1951 this receipt is from. This is from the original text block and more tea dyed. Here's another one of those money orders I have. They are genuine as well and vintage. And this one is from 1958. But that's old. Tea dyed paper, more of that catalog and the book about stamp collecting grid paper with a small tab there with the station rations cards. This is from Bernadette. Here is a piece of a vintage uh, writing set that I recently purchased. So this is part of a um, card stationery. Yeah, more of the ledger. This one is from 1921. Back of those pages, more images from the book, tea dye paper, here's another um, library card, library, not li are they called library card, book, yeah, uh, and tickets, vintage, and another photo, and that is the same girl I believe, when she is a bit older, this is from an old uh, it's like a book when, where you, every time you got paid, it was marked and stamped and how much you got. I'm not sure what they're called. Pay, pay book? No. Salary book, maybe. This is from the book with essays. And craft paper. Something is sticking to something here. Some lined vintage paper. This is from an old calendar with a bit of um, advertisements on it. Get rid of that. It's a small level of glue. Yeah. More tea dyed and some music. Shorthand, another envelope here from Ireland. Small calendar from 1958, and this is from a um, 1834 songbook from Denmark. And another piece of the ledger from 1921. 
effects of those pages. More images from the original text block. And we have reached the end. That means not slut, it says slut, which means the end in Swedish. So that was my four sister journals. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. It has been very much fun to make those. Um, quite basic and simple, but still full of vintage ephemera and stuff. Yeah, um, these books will be available in my Etsy stop shop on Sunday. And that is the 28th of April at 6 p.m. Central European Summer Time. CEST. If you uh, Google CEST, you will see what time it is. Yeah. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, ideas, anything, just say hi down below and I will say hi back. And also, sorry for the sound in this video. My microphone was... I forgot to load it. So, charge it. So, um, I had to do this film without my microphone. But I hope that you heard me uh, without it. Yes. Um... Uh, that's it. I wish you all a great weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.